let's talk a little bit more about array lists. First, how do you convert an array of objects into an array list? Consider these two arrays of strings. The most direct way to convert to an array list is a for loop. I'll create a new array list of strings called chem list, and that will be a new array list. And then for each string, chemical inside the chemical array, I'll add it to the chem list. And let's print out the result. And there's our chemical list. Another way to do the conversion is to import java.util.arrays notice the s at the end and use its asList method to create a data structure to pass to the constructor. In this case I'm going to have an array list of string called planet list and it's going to be a new array list. Instead of empty parentheses I'm going to call arrays.asList of planet array. And let's print that out. And there are my two lists. I'm going to switch over to the Java shell to show you the rest of the things about ArrayList in this video. Here's our chem list, and here's our planet list. To remove an item from an array list, you use the remove method and give an index number. That call will return the removed item. So if I say removed items, equals chemlist.remove2. The removed item is H2SO4. And that entry is indeed gone from the array list. You can also give remove an object as its argument, and the first occurrence of that argument in the list will be removed. This version of remove will return true if something was removed successfully, false otherwise. For example, I can say removed OK equals planetlist.remove Mars. That's true because it was in the list and indeed it is removed. If I say removed OK equals planetlist.remove Saturn that returns false because that wasn't in the list and the planet list remains untouched. There is one situation where you can get into trouble with these two different flavors of remove and that's when you have an array list of integers. Let's have an integer array capital I because I need to have objects and we'll set an array with the numbers 32, 19, 45, 25, and 60. Then I'll create an array list of integer objects and it'll be a new array list that's based on my array. If I try to remove 19 from the list by doing this, I'll get an index out of bounds exception. This call to remove is trying to remove the 19th element of a list that has only five items in it. Java is not going to automatically box the 19 into an integer object because an unboxed int primitive is a valid argument to remove. In this case, what I have to do is explicitly convert the primitive 19 to an integer object so that Java calls the method that I want. Removed OK 
equals age list dot remove integer dot value of 19. Now I have an integer object and the 19 is gone from my age list. If your array list contains anything other than integer objects, you'll never run into problems with these two different versions of the remove method. A couple of other useful array list methods. Contains. I can ask planetList.contains earth which returns true planetList.contains Pluto returns false. Here's a list of names and notice that Joe is duplicated in that list on purpose. The index of returns the index of the first occurrence of an object or negative one if it's not in the array list. Name list dot index of Joe returns one. Name list dot index of Norman which is not in the list returns negative one. Last index of returns the index of the last occurrence of an object or negative one if it's not in the array list. Name list dot last index of Joe returns four and again for a name that's not in the list returns negative one. And those are the other things that you can do with an array list.